concerns of the Milken Archive is the educational value of this project, to make the world aware, because that encompasses preservation, uh, reconstruction, dissemination, and artistic interpretation. The Milken Archive has been very fortunate to have some of our leading colleges and universities and conservatories participate in some of our most important recordings. One of those institutions is the University of Mississippi Hattiesburg, home of the Southern Chorale and Jazz Ensemble. It was there in 1999 that the Milken Archive recorded excerpts of Jack Gottlieb's psalmistry. David Frost, winner of a Grammy Award for Classical Producer of the Year for five of his Milken Archive recordings, oversaw the production. Also on hand was composer Jack Gottlieb, a noted scholar and lecturer on all forms of Jewish music. His presence during the psalmistry sessions was especially helpful. This experience for these college kids is not traditional Jewish music, what we call practical, everyday type of sound. This is more of the kind of thing that you would hear in concert halls uh, outside of uh, a sanctuary or worship experience. However, my piece takes fragments of traditional nusach, bar mitzvah chant, sultzer tunes, Freudenthal tunes, stuff that is very familiar to synagogue goers, but it is so abstracted that it is often not recognizable. So in any case, what they're getting in this experience is subliminal traditional music in a, an American type of uh, nusach, if you will. challenging experience but it's been an experience that I'm glad that the choir as a whole took on so that it challenges us as musicians but also as people that we can do something outside of ourselves something that we're not familiar with This has been a worthwhile experience for me and for the choir. It's just particularly rewarding to watch a group of 40 very diverse young people uh, discover something that they've never done before and make it a part of themselves. And I know this is something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives.